You might confuse the building behind me as the head office of the local Boy Scouts, but you're wrong. This pile of wood is actually the design of the future Pritzker Prize winner Kengo Kuma. Japanese architect Kuma has done something few of his colleagues have done before. He is taking a different branch within Japanese architecture and following this path he has become a global star architect. Where most of other well-known Japanese architects have all gone for the highly minimalistic, aristocratic form of architecture, Kuma's aesthetic is towards the common, vernacular Japanese architecture. Kuma is Japan's Walt Disney. Let me explain. What Kuma does is taking the image of the old Japan, that of the Edo period Tokyo, or Kyoto, as he puts a heavy emphasis on wood and traditional craftsmanship. But then he stylizes his forms in a completely new way, focusing on one or two elements that anyone associates with Japan. In this case, it is taking the shape of a traditional bamboo basket and using it to wrap the building. The facade of the building is made using a traditional system of creating a wood lattice called jigokogumi, in which none or very few nails are used. He employed traditional Japanese craftsmen to build the hundreds of pieces of wood under a 30 or 60 degree angle. Did you notice how many times I said traditional? Don't get me wrong, I think in this particular project, called Sunny Hills, Kuma succeeds brilliantly. This feat of imagineering has made the small shop for a manufacturer of Taiwanese cakes a major attraction for both street and architecture lovers.